Did you know that Stuttgart's railway station is one of the most infamous bottlenecks in Europe? Imagine a place where delays are the norm, frustrating countless travelers daily. But what if we could transform this hub into a marvel of modern engineering? Enter Stuttgart 21, a project so ambitious that it's rewriting the city's future. Imagine 57 kilometers of sleek new railways and 30 kilometers of tunnels cutting through solid rock, all leading to a state-of-the-art station right in the city center. With an eye-watering budget ballooning to 11 billion euros, this venture promises to slash travel times and boost efficiency, making Stuttgart a key player in Europe's rail network. Yet, this grand vision comes with its own set of challenges. Initially set to be completed by 2025, the project has now been delayed until 2026, adding another layer of intrigue. What could be causing such delays in this massive undertaking? And how will this impact the city and its travelers? Imagine looking at a map of Germany with Stuttgart at the center. Now, picture a traveler on a train from Munich to Frankfurt. Ideally, this journey should be smooth and direct. However, once the train reaches Stuttgart, it has to stop, reverse direction, and then continue on its way. This backtracking is like a detour in a maze, causing delays and frustration. This problem is a result of Stuttgart's current railway configuration. Key routes, like those from Munich to Frankfurt, have to navigate a series of reversals at Stuttgart's main station, which acts as a terminus. Trains coming from the south, such as Munich, enter Stuttgart, stop, and then reverse out to head north to Frankfurt. This inefficient setup not only wastes time, but also clogs the rail network with unnecessary maneuvers. The Stuttgart 21 project aims to solve this issue. The idea for this massive overhaul began in 1994, driven by the need to modernize and streamline train travel through Stuttgart. Finally, in 2010, construction kicked off with an ambitious budget of $11 billion. The goal? To transform Stuttgart's rail system from a complicated terminus into a sleek, efficient through station. The project includes building a new underground station that allows trains to pass through without stopping to reverse. This change will turn Stuttgart into a seamless transit hub, drastically reducing travel times. This transformation will not only benefit long-distance travelers, but also improve local and regional transport, making daily commutes quicker and more efficient. The main goal of Stuttgart 21 is to transform the Stuttgart Rail Hub. This includes building four new stations, laying down 57 kilometers of new tracks, digging 59 kilometers of tunnels, and constructing 44 bridges. These changes will allow trains to speed along at up to 250 kilometers per hour, cutting travel times significantly. At the center of this project is the new Stuttgart main station. The old station is being replaced by a modern through station, built just below the surface. This new station is designed with 28 unique chalice-shaped pillars. Each pillar is made from 350 tons of steel and 685 cubic meters of concrete and topped with large glass domes to let in natural light. Another key part of the project is the new Wendling Ulm railway line. This 60 kilometer long track was started in 2012 and includes 61 kilometers of tunnels, 12 tunnels, 37 bridges, and the Merklingen station. The line, opened in December 2022, cuts travel time between Stuttgart and Ulm by nearly half. Building these tunnels was a huge task. Workers used tunnel boring machines and traditional methods like blasting and chiseling to carve out 51 kilometers of tunnels. The longest tunnels are the Alb Vorland Tunnel, 8,176 meters, and the Bossler Tunnel, 8,806 meters. Each tunnel presented its own challenges, especially the Bossler Tunnel, which required precise planning and execution due to its length and the type of rock. The construction of several bridges was equally challenging. Take the Fills Valley Bridge, for example. 
This bridge is 485 meters long and 85 meters high, making it one of the highest railway bridges in the country. Bridges like this are crucial for maintaining the speed and efficiency of the new rail line. Managing the massive amount of excavated material was another significant challenge. In total, around 40 million tons of soil and rock were moved. For Stuttgart 21, more than half of the 20 million tons of material was transported from construction sites to a central location point at Nordbahnhof Station via a specially constructed road system. This minimized the impact on city traffic and reduced noise and dust pollution. At the construction site, materials were examined and categorized before being transported by trains with a single train replacing approximately 40 lorry journeys. This efficient method of material handling was crucial in managing the environmental impact of the project. Two main methods were used to build the tunnels, cut and cover and boring. The cut and cover method involves constructing the tunnel in a trench suitable for tunnels lying just beneath the surface, like the Witterstall Tunnel near Merklingen. The boring method, used for most tunnels in this project, involves cutting the tunnel into the mountain without excavating a trench. This method was particularly effective for long tunnels like the Filder, Bossler, and Albverland tunnels, where uniform geological strata allowed for the use of powerful tunnel boring machines. Tunnel boring machines operate by rotating a cutting wheel to break the rock, which is then removed through the machine to the open air. After a set distance, the machine is stopped and the exposed cavity is lined with prefabricated concrete parts called tubbings. Each ring formed by seven tubbings is grouted to fill any voids, allowing the tunnel to grow ring by ring. In addition to tunnel construction, the project involves the installation of extensive railway technology. This includes tracks and points, overhead contact lines, signaling technology, telecommunications technology, and safety technology. Most tracks in the tunnels are laid on a substrate of reinforced concrete, known as a slab track, which can support high-speed trains and emergency vehicles if necessary. The project is also notable for its focus on digital technology. As part of the Stuttgart Digital Hub pilot project, all trains, including the S-Bahn, will be digitally controlled. The S-Bahn is a rapid transit system that serves the metropolitan area, and this digitalization is crucial for enhancing the network's efficiency and capacity. This is the first project of its kind in the country and is expected to improve performance by reducing delays and increasing capacity. The European Train Control System ETCS, will be implemented to allow more trains to run at shorter intervals, making the Stuttgart Rail Hub one of the most advanced in Europe. Moreover, the project includes significant efforts in environmental protection and sustainability. Comprehensive groundwater management systems have been put in place to protect Stuttgart's valuable mineral springs during construction. This involves the use of pumps, pipes, treatment facilities, filters, and monitoring wells to regulate groundwater levels and ensure the excavation remains dry. This project has faced several challenges. Initially estimated to cost 3 billion euros, the project's budget has surged to 11 billion dollars, with recent reports suggesting it might even climb to 12 billion dollars or more. This increase reflects the project's complexity and the rigorous standards needed to ensure everything runs smoothly. However, the complexity has led to delays. Originally expected to be completed by 2025, the new operational date is now 2026 at the earliest. One of the major reasons for the delay is the need for thorough testing of the new infrastructure. The railway must be reliable from the very start. To achieve this, the new main station will replace the old terminal station by the end of 2026. Additionally, the S-Bahn mainline will be equipped with new digital technology by September 2026. Another significant update involves the Unter-Turkheim station, located in the eastern part of Stuttgart. 
This station will be rebuilt starting in September 2026. Furthermore, the Galbon, via the Fafensteeg Tunnel, still needs to be constructed, adding to the project's complexity. The Galbon is a major railway line connecting Stuttgart to Zurich, and the new tunnel will facilitate smoother travel. Despite these delays, the project promises substantial benefits once completed. The modern, digitized railway hub will offer significantly more and faster connections, improving travel for millions of passengers. The focus on stable timetables means that travelers can rely on punctual and efficient services. The delays and increased costs underscore the project's complexity, but the anticipated benefits will make it worth the wait. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment, and turn on notifications to stay updated with more exciting content.